Hi everyone, this is Shagun Agarwal and in this video I am going to share with you a very interesting concept about smiling that can instantly improve your mood and increase your happiness levels. Alan Peasy in his book, The Definitive Guide to Body Language, the book that I am currently reading, says that it's important to practice smiling, be it a fake smile or a real smile, it doesn't matter because our brain cannot distinguish between a fake smile and a real one. A simple smile, whether genuine or fake makes our brain release tiny molecules called neuropeptides to help fight off stress. Your body automatically releases these hormones that make you feel good when you smile. These include dopamine, endorphins and serotonin. The endorphins act as a mild pain reliever whereas the serotonin is an antidepressant. That is why the author in the book recommends that we should practice smiling on a regular basis. If you are feeling sad or low at any given time, just fake a smile and you will instantly feel happier. When you smile at another person, they will almost always return the smile which causes positive feelings in both you and them because of cause and effect. Studies prove that most encounters will run more smoothly, last longer, have more positive outcomes and dramatically improve relationships when you make it a point of regularly smiling at the point where it becomes a habit. It's the same reason that we feel happy around happy and smiling people. Because when they smile at us, we smile back. It's called expression mirroring. The same expression that the other person is giving, I am trying to mirror that. So when someone is smiling at us, I'm smiling back and my brain is releasing the happy hormones, is releasing the neurotransmitter in the brain which is making me feel happier. And we humans feel very content when someone is looking at us and smiling. We feel accepted and supported. Be it a fake smile or a real smile doesn't matter to us. We feel happy when someone is smiling at us. And we smile back so our brain responds to that. If we are surrounded by unhappy and miserable people, we tend to become more depressed because we are just mirroring their reactions and our brain is responding to it. The author in the book also cited a scientific research which said that we humans are attracted to smiling and happy people because that directly affects our nervous system. Alan and Barbara Pease in the book The Definitive Guide to Public Speaking also say that when we smile at appropriate and correct times such as the beginning of a negotiation process, the negotiation is going to fare better. The outcomes would be more favorable. Smiling and laughing are universally considered to be signals that show that a person is happy. Overall, smiling is an important aspect of non-verbal communication and it can deeply impact our relationships and our happiness level. Evidence shows conclusively that smiles and laughter build the immune system, defend the body against illness and disease, medicate the body, sell ideas, teach better, attract more friends and extend our life. So let's take a recap of what all we learned in this video. We learned that our brain doesn't distinguish between a fake smile and a real smile. It gets tricked. That is why it's important to smile, be it a fake or a real one to increase our happiness level and improve our mood instantly because our brain releases happy hormones when we smile. The second takeaway is that it's important to be around happy and smiling people because when they smile, we smile back. That's called expression mirroring. When they smile at us, we smile and our brain releases happy hormones. I hope you find the contents of this video useful and interesting and if you did, please do hit like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel so I can produce more of such videos. Please do share it with someone you care. Thank you.